Hello. From Mr. Tumble to the Pipplings via rock and roll dogs and a shrinking grandpa, preschool live action has never been so innovative and entertaining. The nominees for preschool live action are... Preschool live action. Bookaboo. Things look bad for Benny. The knife was about to cut into his bum. Oh, I can't look. I can't look at him. No, you look. No, you look. No, you look. You look. Wait. His man running and shouting. Don't touch that burger. He's my son. Thank oh, you, Mum. Well done, Mum. What an amazing well Mum. Mum. Grandpa in my pocket. Laura, come quick. I've just seen the bongo put outside, in the tree. <gasps> Ooh, big, big, shrill, shrieked, flippy, flappy, wiggly, waggly, bungle bird, all right. And what a fine specimen it is, too. Something special. One more special thing to look for. So, what should we do, Jaya? <laughs> Let's look inside Mr. Tumble's body bag. Yay! Aha! Ooh, what's this? It's a band playing music. Way Baloo. <laughs> Nara bugs love to follow Piplings. Chibi find games that Nara bug can play. Deli, let's follow your Nara bug. Yes, now follow Deli's Nara bug. Laughter goes to Bookaboo, Lucy Goodman and Ian Eames. BAFTA, CITV and the team. Thank you very, very much. Going for a second series is always tough, but we put a huge amount into the second series, so it's lovely to have it recognised. Thank you. Bookaboo has just won the preschool live <laughs> action children's BAFTA. Guys, how are you feeling? Slightly surprised because you had an interesting decoy. You had a camera on another table. So we were all sitting around the table going, oh, haven't won, haven't won. <laughs> so completely, slightly going, oh. Congratulations. Thank I mean, you. it's it's getting the kids reading books again. What do you, how big is the problem of the decline in reading these days, do you think? It's a huge problem. It's uh, an increasingly declining problem as adult literacy has also declined. And it's a problem that's not only in the UK, but you'll be slightly relieved or not to hear that it's all around the world. It is an ever-increasing problem, but the evidence that we've had so far from emails and lovely response from audience is that Bookaboo is actually doing some good. It is encouraging adults, it is encouraging paid kids to pick up a book and share a book. Well, then, how do you pick the stories and the celebrities that come We on have Bookaboo? amazing publishers. We put the word out to every single publisher in the UK, please send us the best picture book Ever. We get about 500 in and we read every single one of them yeah. and gradually then whittle them down, whittle them down into those books that are the most fun to share aloud. And finally, who are Bookaboo's favourites that he's had on the old bus there oh. with him? Has he told you? Well, wow, that would be favouritism. That would be favouritism. Well, just, we some, of the best moments, just some of the best moments. We've then. had Meatloaf, we've had Alicia Dixon, Al we had Murray. Johnny Vegas. Mm -hmm. Some big stars. Some very big stars, some very big moments. And more to come, yeah? More to come. He's actually embarking top 
first time we've announced this, he is embarking on a world tour. So the next series will actually come from abroad, where he is sharing books with a in another country. But we have a very playful approach, and we do. I think the whole thing about this is that we bring our creativity to it, and we like to feel that that comes through the show. Well, it does. Mm -hmm. Very well done. Congratulations. Thank Go you. and enjoy your evening. Thank you okay. so much. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Bye.